Hi guys, another simple basic rubber band powered car with a 3D printed chassis oh, and 3D printed hubs um, and bicycle spokes for the axles. I just wanted to make it as simple as possible. I could probably go simpler, but uh, yeah. So we've just got two sides, a tube at that end, which is opened out on the inside. So there's a bigger hole on the inside than there is on the ends. So there's less friction. Uh, how can I explain that? <laughs> um, yeah, it's a, it's a big tube with a small opening at either end. So the axle only rubs at the ends rather than anywhere in the middle. That gives it less friction. At this end, we haven't actually got a tube because we want to be able to get there and wind up the rubber band. The other advantage of, of that tube at that end is we can just tie the rubber band to it. So we'll do that. Oh, and then that cross member adds some strength and it also means if we need to add some weight, we can actually tie it on there or tape it on there. Just some cheap rubber bands. Over the top, <laughs> over the top and hold it in place. So it goes over itself. That will hold it in place while you finish winding it up. So that works. We'll see if we can hit the camera. Well, that works. Nice and simple. <laughs> 